All right. Hey, everybody. How's everything going today? Welcome to uh, Operation Friendship here. This is SETI. Uh, we're doing SETI555 is the name of the channel. Um, and I think this is going to be episode 9, if I'm not mistaken. I might be. At some point, I'm going to just start getting them all wrong and saying the wrong one. So might as well start now if I, if I am. Um, today we're going to be focusing on levels by Peyton. Um, I, I think some of you may already know she is a wonderful creator, a great person to be friends with on the platform. Um, she's very good about, you know, she's happy to give good feedback to, uh, to friends and, uh, yeah, and she's just really, really talented with parts can use Mario Maker part knowledge to do a lot of delightful things. So let's get into her stuff right here. Uh, I think we're just gonna use her world as the jumping off point, as I often do in these videos. I, I find it's a good way, you know, if someone puts courses into the world, it's, it's kind of like saying, this is my greatest hits. And I think it's a good way to treat it that way. So let's see what we got in there. Super Peyton World right here. Looks like this has been played an awful lot. And I'm not surprised. She's a very popular creator. Rainbow Run. We're going to start things off with a speed run here. I think there's a couple, at least a couple speed runs. Very stylish there. Got the red section, now the orange section where I bonked. And looks like <laughs> looks like I'm not the first one, so I don't feel that bad about that. That's uh So stylish here. And we're in. More than a second to go. I feel good about that. Um, really, really stylish and beautiful course. You can see she's got a gift for visual flair and, uh, and uses all the parts to that best. Having that on a rainbow is just all by itself is a very cool, uh, very cool choice. Blue Lift Paradise. This is one of her newer ones, I believe. Might even be her newest. Nope, not, not a jump there. I should know that by now. I've done this course enough times. all seen blue lift centered uh, blue lifts and grinders for stages before but you can see this one has so much visually added to it that those usually do not those are usually quite simple visually and here you got the Peyton touch absolutely a lot of fun to play Escape on Crimson Sea. Another 20 second speed run. Oh, I must have not quite started the run right. Alright. Oh, we missed the, missed the switch. It's alright. It was close. Oh! Had a whole jump. 
I'll just be talking to myself the whole time, telling myself the various ways I fail. That's how these things go. Little early on that jump, as I said. Again, early, you gotta really, uh, yeah, gotta really extend Wily e. Coyote off the end of that one. So stylish, so much action. Look at that, the twirling as you're going through. Really good. Us to another 20 seconds. So with most of these being 20 seconds and only one world here, we'll probably have time to look at a couple of our other stuff. Hey, one shot at it. Not really. I mean, I've done the voice before, but. You know, this time it was a one shot. Very stylish. You can see she's got a gift for the uh, the 20 second speed run. And on to the final. What do we have in store here? Oh yeah, one of one of her very best courses. Beat the clock. So you see what we got here? We got we got a visual clock and we gotta go faster than it. No, oh, so close. So close. I don't uh, you know, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna try to beat this one. It's not the easiest stage, and so doing it on cam, it's possible this might take me a few tries. But it does uh, it does reward repetition with ah knowledge. Make that mistake, you're not gonna finish that though. this was the first stage to use this visual concept. Uh, others have followed in its wake out there. I know I've seen a few by, by uh, creators other than Peyton, but I, I think this was the originator of this, and uh, it's just really good. Just so much charm, so much style. We got a checkpoint, and I feel good about that. Two lives at the checkpoint too, so that's that's a plus. Now that lives actually matter. Oh, could have done it. Could have done it if we would have hit up just fast enough. Let's just grab one life every time. Just in case. Oh, no, you gotta... Yeah. It's tempting to think that one blue lift is gonna come back up. It is not. It is not gonna come back up. So you gotta... 
do that in kind of a smooth, fast manner. As if we didn't know from the level itself. Alright, checkpoint two. On to the final. What a what a beautiful stage that is. Beat the clock. I mean that's that, that's one of the great classics in all of uh, Super Mario Maker 2, in my opinion. Like, if you have not played that stage, Peyton's Beat the Clock, make sure and play it. Like, for real. We've done it! And we got plenty of time to go, so we're going to look at maybe two, three others of our levels as well. Let's see what else we can find. Uploaded courses. Gone Fishing, I think, is one of her best. Let's play this one. Um, looks like this was maybe inspired by someone else. Um, and I have not seen that one. So I can't, I can't say how original this one is. But I know it's charming beyond belief. You get the cape, and with the cape you can uh, use the fishing rod. Oh, there we got one. Uh, I think I was talking the other day about uh, one of uh, Burrito Bob's levels that uses a similar concept to this one. I think there's only one key per pond hunt. Um, come on, Goomba fishes. There you go. Oh, almost. Oh, we got the big one, but the, it's the little one we're after. They are erratic, aren't they? Makes them the perfect... <laughs> perfect enemy to use on this concept. Because you never know where they're going to go underwater. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. Alright. Um, yeah, it's up there. It is so fun and satisfying, and again, the, the level of charming of this, you know, I, I think I said in one of my comments on Peyton's levels that her knowledge of Mario Maker parts to create delight and charm and it, it just uh, <laughs> it's almost beyond anything. Here you get the red Koopa who is presumably also fishing along with you. I just love it. Can't get enough of it. Yay! A little more fishing to do, yeah. You got three in the first hit there. There's an actual fish in this pond. <laughs> I 
I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I got a chance to show this one to you guys. Um, it's another one of my favorite uh, Super Mario Maker levels out there. Gone Fishing by Peyton. Alright, let's go back up to our newer stuff. I think Lack Lakito's uh, Desert Run, I think it's safe to say was not one of her newest. And there she's got her saying, when you delete 10 courses and your maker points increase. Me, sweet. I, I'm i too precious to delete my courses. I definitely have at least three or four that I should let go of, but I, I'm too precious. I, 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 I don't dare do it. I, I know my maker points would go up if I did, but it's, you know, at a, at a, at a certain point, maker points just don't matter that much. Once you, once you have enough, you have enough. But I think this is a really great speed run. It... Really gotta hit that second lackey do right to get the switch in a timely fashion. Not my best effort right there. Try to do better here. Ooh. I think this is probably gonna be our last one here. The fishing one took a little more time than some of the others. See why we're not clearing that. This one feels like it has a little bit of a little bit of luck to it, or else maybe I just don't don't play it quite right. So, which is why I end up. I think we jumped early there. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, that was better. Yeah, we're 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 just going early, so we gotta we gotta make sure we go later on some of these jumps. Yeah, it when it doesn't work, it feels a little feels a little off. But when it does work, it's just Wild. Yeah, obviously, if you have to go back for that, it's not happening. And it all comes together. It's pretty nice. It's gonna happen here. Well, that was too late. So there's too early, but there's also too late. It's really it's more precise than a lot of these are. These Lacky, Lakidus are uh, fussy. Also that spike block. What can you do? I don't know. I don't know, folks. It's po possible we might not beat this one. I have beaten it before, so... See, that felt right to me. But the Lakitu sometimes just doesn't cooperate. Well, there they cooperated, and I just didn't make that jump. All right, I think we're gonna get this one. Maybe not this time, but one of these times. Maybe not this time. Maybe not. Ah, tough to get those jumps in there. They're real quick. Kind of feel like you're, kind of feel like you're skating on ice, on thin ice with this level anyway. 
but in a good way. It's really, it's really, really cool. I was ready for that one too, is the sad part. I was ready for it. Like, I think the back half of this is actually pretty uh, reliable and easy. We just gotta get there. There. Well, that one, that one was not a hard jump. I just, I just choked. late on that one. I don't know. I don't think we are. If you go early, you hit the spike block. that one up. That's alright. We're kind of resetting here. Getting in there for our second win. We're gonna beat this. We're gonna beat this. Of course we're gonna beat this. Why wouldn't we? Well, we are kind of almost past time. What do you say? Uh, three more tries? We got time for three more tries. That was one. Two more tries. I think we're gonna do it. One more try. One more try. One more try. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me, folks. Um, well, I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Absolutely check out Peyton's stuff. Uh, it's really good. Really, um, really just maximum delight and visual blender. Um, we'll go in there. We'll get her... Uh, Maker ID, you see it right there. It's 3M5PVCDHF. Uh, and I hope everyone there has a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye now.